guys, welcome back. I have a tutorial for you today. It's on this kind of dual chrome, smoky, purpley, pink, crazy bomb on my face. This look was actually inspired by this gorgeous eyeshadow that I got from Barium. So, if you're interested in how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Alright guys, we're going to get started. I can't wait to use this pigment. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm going to start off with this color right here, uh, Soft Brown by MAC, with a little my little brush, you know the brush I use every single time. This is Sonia Kashuk fluffy brush. Then I'm gonna go for my highlight, and this is Blanc Type, and just a little Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush. I like using this brush to highlight because the tip is so small that you could just kind of get right in there. It's nice and precise. You see what my eyeshadow looks like? It's going to crack soon, so I actually just picked up a backup. <laughs> I think my new nickname should be the Blending Bitch. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Next, we're going to take this light lilac-y purple. It's called Beautiful Iris by MAC. Really pretty. I'm just going to take... A, okay, this is a Coastal Scents... No, this isn't even a Coastal Scents. It's another knockoff. It's called the C433 from More Brushes. I'm just going to take a little bit on the tip of the brush and we're going to work that into the crease. Now if you have darker skin, you can go ahead and feel free to mute out your eyelids with some sort of a primer, a flesh colored, like a cream colored primer, or a, like NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. That would help make these eye shadows really pop. Okay, next I'm just going to grab, you can grab any small little uh, kind of stiff synthetic brush and I am going to take this pencil by NYX and it is called, it's a slide on glide on, my nail is too fucking long pencil, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, it's called gunmetal and I'm going to run that all over the eye. And as soon as that's on, you just want to go ahead and blend that out. Now I'm not grabbing a big fluffy brush because I want to kind of keep this concentrated where it is. And you definitely want to blend each eye as you do it. You don't want to go to the other eye because then it's going to be a bitch to blend. I'm also going to grab that pencil and I'm going to run that right on the bottom lid as well. Now's the fun part. Uh, I'm going to use this new product that, to me, new to me, <laughs> Dazzle Dust by Barry M. And this was gifted to me by my friend Cornelia. This color is the crazy good one. I've been so excited to use this one. And it is like a dual chrome. You guys can kind of see it. It's like a purpley green aqua. Oof, I can't wait to use this. We're going to start off using a little MAC Fix Plus. Uh, you can use any stiff tone brush. I'm using a MAC 239. And let's put that all over the lid. God, how intense is that? Wow. Holy moly, <laughs> you're crazy. I'm gonna let this dry because I'm gonna blend this out. I'm actually gonna take that brush, I'm gonna run it right under the lid too. Okay, I'm just gonna take that same blending brush from before and I'm gonna blend out the orange just slightly, and then we're going to go in with a blending color. Okay, I'm going to grab this color, it's called Indian Ink, put a little bit on the end of our blending brush, and then we're going to blend in the edge. Now I'm just going to take 
a small little smudgy brush. This is some uh, Sigma brush E21. And I'm going to take the same dark purple and I'm going to run that under the lid. Now I have this pink eyeshadow. This is called Miss Piggy Pink. And uh, I got this a while ago from a CCO. I know it was limited edition. Hopefully any matte pink will do. Then you just want to take a, blend a blending brush. This is the Sigma E40. Take some of that eyeshadow and we're going to run that right on the edge. Add a nice pink to it. With my other blending brush, I'm going to take some of that pink. I'm just going to run that underneath the eye as well. things aren't smudging as nice as I'd like, I always go for my pencil brush. I'm going to go back in with my pencil brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the Indian ink and we're just going to deepen that up right in the crease and the outer V. I'm all like blend, blend, add, blend, add, blend. You lost any of that highlight color go back in now with it and I know you guys are gonna think I'm absolutely crazy but I'm gonna go back in with the pigment I'm just going to layer a little bit of that more on the, the lowest part of the lid okay next we're just gonna line our eyes uh, any liquid gel eyeliner that you want I'm gonna do a quick old wing on my face on my eyeballs I'm gonna use my Eve Pearl uh, liquid eyeliner I feel like you can't really see it all that much anyway because the eyeshadow is so dark. Before I put on my mascara, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my face because it is driving me bonkers. Bonkers, people. I'm going to use a little MAC Vanilla pigment right in the inner corner. I'm going to hit up the water, uh, lower waterline with uh, NYX Black, uh, Jet Black, uh, slide on glide on my name's too fucking long eyeliner I'm also going to hit the upper waterline with that but I'm going to do that after I put on my mascara now I'm going to use mascara I'm going to use my YSL baby doll mascara Good thing about having uh, eyeshadow this dark, you can't really tell if you get mascara on your eyelid, which is awesome. Next, lower lashes, clinic bottom lash, you guys know me. Pretty sure my bottom and lash mascara has seen its last days. Just throw it out. Okay. For lashes today, I'm going to use these Red Cherry uh, Demi Wispies. This is the big Demi, big flirty ones. You guys know how to put on fake lashes, so I'll be right back. I put on my lashes, and I did go over the base of the lash line with my eyeliner again to make sure that everything was neat and tucked away. Now we're going to start the face. Yeah. All right. So, let's start with this. I'm going to start with the Embryolis Hydra Matte Moisturizer. I use that as my primer. I love this stuff. I don't know if you guys have ever tried the Emreal Lease, but it smells something about it. It just smells so decadent. I'm going to go for a little bit more fuller coverage today because I am the zit queen, evidently. I'm going to use my, uh, free, my Dior Forever foundation, which I haven't used in like a couple months. Two pumps on the back of the hands. Well, I'm going to go for three just in case. And I'm actually using this for the first time. This is the Real Techniques uh, sponge. Uh, sponge. Blech. I haven't used this yet, so I'm very curious about this. Maybe I should dot this on my face. Liking it so far. Okay, so this message is directly to Sanders, Sanders Kennedy. This sponge, you're going to love it. 
and so is your wallet. <laughs> I think it's really good. I like it. Next I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Uh, what's my color? Light Pale. It's so good for right underneath the eyes. So much better than the Beauty Blender. Because to get the Beauty Blender under the eyes, you have to use like the pointy part, and then it's just harder to blend. This, you can use like the flatter part, and it just blends it so nice. <gasps> I love it. So I'm going to use this um, Well Rested Bare Minerals. I know it creased on me last time, but I used a different product under my eyes. Like, um, I used the YSL. So I want to see how this works with the Maybelline. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. Dust it off. Now I'm going to powder the rest of my face. I'm going to use my, I forgot how little I have left, my NYX uh, Mineral Set It, Don't Fret It. I didn't realize how little I had left. Oh, the zip keeps coming through. I should have color corrected it, but I didn't. Oh my god, guys, I almost forgot. Um, I have to tight line. Um, I'm going to use my NYX uh, Jet Black Eyeliner, and I have to tight line up there. I'm going to grab my Real Techniques blush brush and my MAC blush in taupe. Alright, so I got an email or like a message on Google Plus from somebody saying that they heard that MAC blush in taupe was discontinued. I'm going on after this and I'm going to check the accuracy of that statement because if it is discontinued, I am buying two right now. Why does MAC always discontinue the stuff I love most? Why do they discontinue it? I'm going to go with this blush. This is a uh, MAC Mineralized Blush in Gentle. It's so pretty. I don't wear this blush enough. And it's got like a sheen to it, so you don't have to add any highlight. We went a little crazy with the blush, <laughs> so let's Pound this out a little. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I have this one is Love Lauren. Or I have this one, which is Fat Out, Flat Out Fabulous. Which do you guys think? I'm thinking Love Lauren because Flat Out Fabulous, it might just be a little too fucking much. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go with a little Love Lauren. I'm going to go for some gloss over that. I'm going to go with NYX Vanilla Cream Pie. I love Love Lauren. I mean, how pretty is that? Such a beautiful pink. I love it. Brand new. I can't believe I didn't have it before. So, Well, guys, alright. Well, I hope you like the finished look. This is the finished look. I really wanted to try that Berry M pigment, and I'm really glad I did. It's so pretty. I love the way it's just dual chromed and pretty and green and purple, and ooh, it's so smoky and gorgeous. I love it. I'm really excited about the way this look turns out. A special shout out to my friend Cornelia for getting me this eyeshadow. Without her, I would have never been able to do this look. Please go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.